large crowd showed up today to a meeting uh, on the end of John Jasinski's tenure at, as president at Northwest Missouri State University. Now, Jasinski is not leaving by choice, and he has many supporters. Our Marcus Clem was at the meeting. In what served as the first opportunity for members of the general public to speak face-to-face -face with members of the Board of Regents about their decision on the university presidency, a large crowd filled the ballroom at the J.W. Jones Student Union, urging the Regents to reconsider. However, Dr. Pat Haar, who has served the university for nearly 50 years as a sports physician, suggested that it may be too late, and in fact, all seven Regents may need to resign to start this conversation anew. The only thing that would help was if you all resigned, and we just start over with a new board, but this is a person. Joining him in the expressing concern was Ken Scribner, a member of the university's foundation board and class of 1987 alumnus. Scribner, a Kansas City businessman, expressed concerns about how the university has been very successful in increasing enrollment and bringing in donor support. Why then is it necessary to change the university's leadership now? And is there an alternative motive that they're not aware of? I, I don't have facts. I won't state fact. I'm not here to state fact. But I say it's something that makes you hungry. Marcus Clem, Newspress Now.